What's going on, little Daff? It's Jared Muntz, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Today, we're learning how to control a ball with your thigh. If you look like this, you might want to watch this video. Having a great first touch in soccer is very important, and learning how to control a ball on your thigh is part of having a great first touch. This OSA video will have a similar concept about our video on receiving a hard pass. Key points. Key point number one, get your thigh up early. Lots of players lift their thigh up to control the ball right as the ball is hitting their thigh. This causes the ball to bounce up off their thigh and go high in the air. Think of hitting a baseball. When you swing the bat and make contact, the ball is going to go far. If you get the bat up early for a bunt, the ball hits the bat and falls short because there's no swing of the bat. Key point number two, cushion the ball in. Think of catching an egg. Would you catch an egg like this? No, it would crack. You would catch an egg like this to cradle it in. The idea is, right as the ball is about to hit your thigh, you bring your thigh back a little bit. This will take some power out of the ball and cause the ball to drop at your feet. You don't want it to hit you as if you were a rock and bounce off. You want to be loose like jello and absorb the ball. Key point number three. Angle your thigh at a 45 degree angle facing down. This way when the ball hits your thigh it will go forward. If your thigh is too high this will cause the ball to go up in the air or if your thigh is too high the ball won't even hit your thigh and it'll just hit you straight in the knee. Key point number four, have the ball hit the middle of your thigh. The ball should hit the middle of your thigh here, not here, here, or here. Key point number five, we don't want the ball to pop up high. Why? If the ball is going up in the air, what does it take for it to come back down? It takes time. That extra one to two seconds of the ball being in the air is the extra time the defender needs to close you down. Key point number six, be confident. Don't think negative as the ball is flying to you like, oh my God, I'm gonna take a bad touch. Why did Sally kick it so hard at me? Thinking negative will increase the chances of you messing up. Don't hope to take a great touch. Take a great touch because you work hard at practice. Don't be surprised when it works for you. You're gonna need a partner and a ball. If you don't have a partner, then don't worry about it. I'll show you how to do exercises on your own too. Before we set up this exercise, I wanna ask you, are you a motivated athlete? If yes, then Believe In It is for you. Believe In It is apparel that inspires you to reach your goal. It's for motivated athletes, all ages, all sports. Go to believeinitapparel.com and enter your email to be alerted when we launch. Now, for an exercise we can do to practice. Whether you have a partner or not, start off by tossing the ball up to yourself not too high, and then cushion it in with your thigh. After a few of these, have your partner pass the ball to you underhand from a few yards away. Softer tosses first, and as you get the hang of it, they can toss it faster. Once you're ready, have your partner pass you the ball in the air. You take a control touch and then pass it back. Do as many sets as you'd like. If you're training on your own, you can throw the ball up against a wall underhand so it comes back to you. This way, it comes back to you off the wall in the air, then control the ball with your thigh, pass it back to the wall, then pick it up with your hands and repeat. If you don't have a wall, then just throw the ball up in the air and control it when it comes down. Some things that could be going wrong. If the ball is hitting your thigh and just flying off like a bad touch, then you are not cushioning the ball in and or you're bringing your thigh up too late. Make sure to get it up early. Start slow and get this technique right before you start trying to receive hard passes on your thigh. Bonus tip, if you wanna take a thigh touch in a certain direction, then what you wanna do is move your thigh to the direction you wanna go as you're cushioning the ball in. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy training video. Like, favorite, and share this video if you did. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or sign up and create your profile for free at OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Players all over the world use it and you can do game reviews and track your progress. Post a comment and let me know how this video worked for you. My name is Jared Montz and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!